We're back on day five of budget plane week on the RC Sailors and believe it or not, this cool looking airplane falls under a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, okay, well this is flying great. I have a 3S pack in here that is 1800 milliamps and I'm cruising right now at about 45, 50% throttle, nowhere over 50. Whew. Yeah, when I hit that bank, it wants to fall down. Let's do a loop. Just gave it a little bit of juice and oh man, I love the shape of the tail on this. Just like the rest of them this week, we've had a great time. Now I will say that the first four planes in this series on our channel were all ready to fly. This one is not, it's plug and play at a hundred bucks basically, a few dollars under a hundred dollars. It comes with all the electronics except for a flight battery and a receiver, which is very, very common in the plane world. It's actually way, way more common. Now I'm flying on my old school tactic radio. They do still sell this, but I think they're kind of phasing it out, unfortunately. I, I will fly on the Spectrum a lot of times. So if you did fly on Spectrum, you could put safe in here. I have a ton of extra tactic receivers, so that's why it went in this plane. Budget radio, budget plane. But man, it looks good. I had a great time putting it together. I like to use the word build. If I if I put toothpaste on my toothbrush, I built that toothbrush, okay? Some guys get mad when I say build something like this because it's not a bunch of toothpicks you glued together. You but I built it. it. I assembled it. It took a couple hours watching some YouTube and just having a good time. Hot glue is what's holding everything together. But it was a great time. I didn't get frustrated a single moment while putting it together. Really, really happy with how it turned out. I would say that this is not a first time airplane, but it doesn't mean it couldn't be something you'd work your way up to. So that's why we're putting it toward the end of this airplane budget week. So budget plane under hundred bucks. If you like it, you'll have to FPV it. Yeah, I think so. It's four channel. We have ailerons up front. Uh, you know what? It's not, it's three channel. It's a bank and yank plane. We have elevator. I could mix in some rudder to that, but I don't want to. And we just have nice throttle with our two props. Oh, it sounds so good. I'm ready to fly, so let's do it. All right, nose into the wind. There's about a three to four mile per hour breeze. This is the maiden flight. He's got to hand launch it because there's no landing gear on this. He's in the air. Seems like the wind picked up even more after you launched it, Nate. He's walking back here. You can come over this way. <laughs> really focused on flying this. Uh, I chose not to put any stickers on it just because I thought it looked really cool all black except for a couple RC Sailor stickers. And I'll tell you what, it has way more than enough power um, on even just a 3S battery with those two motors. Oh my gosh, it was, I had to ease off on the throttle on the takeoff because it was just cooking. Uh, <laughs> look at this. I got to trim it up some. It's flying squirrely, but. Looks cool, doesn't it? It's Stealthy. such a unique plane. I gotta go, I gotta gain altitude. This is a true maiden. And let's see, flight characteristics are wonky. I need to give it some up trim, quite a bit. And then we would just wanna hold it straight on the next pass and see what it's wanting to do. Uh, still dive and I gotta give in some left aileron, quite a bit. Can you believe Maybe it's February with 68 degree weather? And I gotta give a little more up trim here. It's crazy, isn't it? It feels so good. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's feeling a lot better. I gotta trim this up because all these sweet race drone shots that you guys are seeing, knock on wood. Uh, that is Abby flying. Yeah, you better get this set up perfectly, uh, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little more trim. I'm quite nervous to fly this. Uh, that's all the elevator trim. You might have to hold a little bit of elevator. Let's make sure we take the thumbnail picture before I fly. Oh yeah, okay. Well, this is flying <laughs> great. I have a 3S pack in here that is 1800 milliamps and I'm cruising right now at about 45, 50% throttle. Nowhere over 50. Whew. Yeah, when I hit that bank, it wants to fall down. Let's do a loop. Just gave it a little bit of juice and oh man, I love the shape of the tail on this. So 
I've never flown anything with that upside down V tail. Yeah, I don't even weird. know what that's called. I don't know either. It's very unique. I like upside down V tail. Yeah. And let's do a climb test. She climbed forever. Oh yeah, I did a good job wow. this, didn't I? Yeah. That's high. That is high up there. No stickers, no nothing for orientation. <laughs> I, I chose that. It came with really cool bright red stickers. But I just thought, you know what? This really looks good. Just all black stealthy. I know we talked about it, but I like it. Abby, when you're flying this, you're just gonna have to hold a tiny bit of up elevator. Just remember that. <gasps> Don't I'll like doing that. <laughs> hold it a little bit, but you'll do fine. You will do fine. Let's do a roll out here over Death Valley. You can't trim that Ooh, out. The roll. No, I'm out of trim. I used it all Darn. up. I can when we get back home with my tools. Fix it, yeah. Yeah, so here we go. Let's roll this way, because the nose is in the wind. Wow, it rolls really well. Roll, 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 roll with elevator. Let's do a loop. I have a lipo alarm in here, so we should be able to get a good test on flight time. Guys, I can't believe that this plane is under $100. Now, if you want to use your own electronics, maybe you've got some from a plane you crashed and chose not to repair it or whatever, uh, you can get this for like 65 bucks or something. A really good deal. As a kit. As a kit yeah. with no electronics. But this thing flies really well. I do need to get a little bit more trim going, but that's my own stupid fault, so just bear that in mind. How will she fly inverted? Okay, it will, so let's do it. Let's go from right to left, we'll put it upside down from a roll, and then we'll fly it inverted. Oh yeah, baby. Flies pretty good inverted. It's a little bit of a challenge, I guess, just because the wind is picking up some. But that's not bad. We're still upside down. Yeah. It looks normal that way because yes, the does. V is right. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does not look like it's upside down right now. Finish my full circle and then we'll roll out of it with an wow. outside loop. Here we go, outside loop. Up, 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 up. Hello. And it fell uh, out of it. That's okay. That was good though. That's okay. You did very good. Close pass. Uh, Woo! Sorry. Very close. This is a fun plane, Abby. I told Abby when I was putting this together, building it. All you haters out there, it's a build. I told her when I was building it and having a good time and listening to music and YouTube, I said, I can tell Abby, as long as this flies okay, this is gonna be one that I wanna keep. There's a couple of those little tiny ready to fly trainers I'll probably keep, a couple I'll probably sell, and then I know I'm gonna keep this one until I just smash it into the ground someday. Oh man, that's cool. It's made out of really tough, I think it's called EPP foam. It's the really bouncy, rubbery kind of foam. Um, and I, they usually do that on more basic shapes. There's my LiPo alarm. So that's at 3.5 volts. We're going to go around one more. I want to try to get it to go by as fairly slow as I can. And that'll probably be it. That's probably all we're going to do. I'll do a landing on the next pass. Nice and low and slow. You have to be a good belly landing. Yeah, a good belly landing. We got this. Um, yeah, this is nice. Really happy, really happy with this. Very pleased, it could have gone one of two ways and it went the best way it possibly could have. Okay, the wind is coming in just perfect, so let's go nice and slow, brighten that puppy up there, Abby. Good camera work and kachunga! <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Amelia. <laughs> Oh yeah, I give that two major thumbs up. I just needed a little more elevator trim, but setting that down, it was just an awesome plane to fly. I'll tell you this, I'm using some old, I went with a budget, budget plane, budget setup, went with some of my budget older batteries because I'm kind of testing them and phasing out some of my old bad batteries. So I used a, an old Venom battery in here and I wanted you guys to see the location of it because of the CG. They don't really talk about that. 
I feel like I got the CG in there pretty spot on. Just enough room for a light bulb alarm up there. Comes with a Dean's connector on the plane if you get the one with electronics. So CG placement uh, feels really good there on an 1800 milliamp battery. I, I love that. These motor pods, the it looks like it's almost part of the wing here. They come with the plane pre-assembled, but the props are not on there, but the motors are. The ESC and electronics are already zip tied up underneath there, which is great. When you're assembling this, it only goes on one way. If you try to put this one on this side, it'll sit really crooked. It just doesn't feel right. So when you're putting it together, you'll know which one goes where. Um, the prop direction too could be useful. This one spins inward toward the plane fuselage and so does this one. Both props spin inside, okay? These are amazing little props. They're race drone props. You can buy these cheap and get them everywhere. It comes with five by 4.5 by three, okay? When you're replacing your props if that ever happens. Doesn't that just look cool? I, I love how this looks. Carbon fiber, the rod on there, fun to build, fun to put together, and a blast to fly. I couldn't recommend this more. It's under $100. It's absolutely a must-have if you need a new plane for your collection. I mean, just so much fun. This is what the hobby's all about. I love this. It'll be linked in the description box below. The exact one that we got, the exact electronics, and we'll also link our favorite batteries and maybe some cheap batteries, the radio we're using. Everything that I used to fly this will be linked down below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!